Hey guys, it's Naomi. Oh, let me adjust the camera. Yeah, that works. So, today, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, when to separate from somebody if you're in a relationship with them. And this will not apply to everyone. This is not going to apply to everybody's situation. But, uh, for some people, it's hard to realize when to break up and or, or separate from their partner, their current partner. So sometimes it's just harder for them to... No, I just said that, didn't I? Oh, well. But, um, so I also wanted to thank one of the comments before because they really made my day and I, uh, I saw their comment, but... I had to, for some reason, had to, like, organize the comments in a specific way to be able to see it, and so I only recently had to f found out how to reply to it, so <laughs> I guess that, yeah, but I wanted to thank them for their comment. They left some really nice things in one of my comments, and... It honestly just made my day, and um, I'm sorry I forget the name. I'm really terrible. I should probably check that. Give me one second. Uh, Brianna, that's the name. I uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but thank you so much for your comment. It made my day and honestly made me feel so much better. But anyway. Um, what I'm going to talk about in this video, I already said what I was going to talk about, uh, but, um, I'm going to put myself in the center of the camera, and this camera keeps moving. It's so weird. But, uh, for some people, when they go past the, uh, what some people call the honeymoon, honeymoon phase, which... For some reason, I just don't like that name. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with saying honeymoon. I just don't like it for some reason. But, um... So... Once you get past that and you start, you know, fighting... Um, like, sometimes a lot more than normal. And you start to feel like maybe the relationship is going south. I... <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, clearing my throat. I know it's going to be hard to leave somebody, especially if you never have before. Or if this is a first relationship. And maybe maybe you're really good at it. And maybe you already know how to tell when to leave and what to do when you leave somebody. But for some people, like me, it's harder to realize when that is. Um, when you're not looking from an outside perspective. But... In my opinion, it's better for somebody to leave earlier when they notice it's going south and they don't think there's anything that could be done to, you know, keep the relationship. It's better to leave earlier, partially for um, more time to heal overall, but also so that, you know, if you were friends before you want to stay friends in the end um, it's more likely for the other person to say hey I still want to be friends when you when you ask them they'll be I, I can't guarantee that they'll say that they still want to be friends but it's more likely um, but don't try to expect anything um, especially in times like this because expectations usually lead to you know you feeling bad or something just unpleasant um well that's that's my advice just leave when you notice it's going south because once it goes too far south there's no going back you can't be f it's, it's hard to be friends for a lot of people and yeah Sometimes the relationship can get really toxic and it and it'll make it harder to leave later because of 
partially because of guilt tripping and other things like that, but, um, anyway guys, I, I really hope you have a good day, and I'm doing much better, and I talked to my HRT doctor, and I got a packet of information, and I can't figure out where it is, but I got it, and it might be in my counselor's office, because I might have forgotten it there, <laughs> but it, it, it I don't know where it is, but I'll find it eventually, or get a new copy, or something like that. But, um, uh, I'm trying to think of something else to talk about. Oh yeah, if, if you don't want to be friends with the person that you're separating from, don't feel bad. Because it's not, it's not a bad thing to not want to be friends with somebody who you only saw as romantic recently and make sure if you do end up wanting to be friends afterwards to take some time apart from each other because it can sometimes lead to a lot of you know fighting like as if you were still together and a lot of people need some recovery time and it's pretty rare for somebody not to even if they don't seem like they they would but yeah, that's some of my advice. Um, I'm not the best person to go to for advice, so take everything I say with a, a grain of salt or like like a rock of salt or something. Um, <laughs> like Himalayan salt because that's pink and that's a nice color to me. But um, anyway guys, I hope all your days are going well. And remember to try your best to keep yourself safe. And if you can't keep yourself happy, that's okay. It's not your fault. And it may not be anybody else's fault. But there are reasons behind it. And I hope eventually you end up getting better. I love you all. Peace. Naomi out.